Hello everyone, this is Baby Bacon One here. I am going to be recording a druid training video. Um, like a druid training with Fair's workshop and just normal training. So right now I'm going to see my settings. Okay, actually I'm gonna turn my phone off. Wait, sorry guys. Okay, so um in the last episode in the last well you probably won't see that video because i was i'm recording on a different mic now because my old mic actually broke somehow um so it says follow up with farah okay we have to talk to farah now omg you guys i wonder like what is it gonna be um so no okay oh we got a new piece of we got leggings you guys Ooh, fun okay i'm going to make those another time i will make those possibly later in the video but so right now we are going to be going to do some druid training no druid training um so i actually my home stable is actually um real deal, so i don't so luckily i don't have to trailer everywhere because like i'm fair's workshop at Veildale and like Druid training, so yeah. Actually, okay, so you guys, can I tell you? So I'm gonna tell you guys something that I'm super, super excited about. Later today, um, today I actually have, or I might have already had my um lesson, um, when the by the time my this um video comes out, but. I am so excited, you guys, because this week, because I have my riding, my horseback riding lessons on Sundays, um, I'm so, so excited because we finally get to tack up again since quarantine. So that is super duper exciting. Dang it, I failed, you guys. Because we haven't been able to tack up in so long. And it, we're all, I'm just so fortunate and glad that we are able to, like, see our friends. And because, like, I kind of, I really miss tacking up and going into the barn and seeing all of the horses. Because they, some of them, some of them are kind of goofy. They're all really cute. Tink's the one that I ride, Tinkerbell. Um, we sometimes call her Stinkerbell for some reason. I don't know why, but she's super cute. She loves food. Like when we on like when we when we were allowed to like tack them up, tack up the horses, and untack them, Tinkerbell would always help us take her bridle off. Like, she would put her head down so that she could eat hay. So, yeah. She liked doing that. She loves food. I'm sure she, she is sad that we, that she isn't getting mints or carrots from me. But, <laughs> I'm sure she'll live. So, I actually hate druid training like i it is the worst which is one of the main reasons why i took a break from doing my druid training because like i just didn't want to do it so like yeah oh my gosh i hate dodge the lightning it's 2k Oh, yes, I actually, I thought I failed. I'm like, no. 
Yay, you guys unlocked a new reward. Okay. Yay, I got a care package thing. Claim. Let's see what's in it. It will come. It's right there, glowy. Woo! What? Rhiannon has to tell me something? Okay, first one. Is this a potato? Oh no. It's a cake. I thought it was a potato. Like, you guys cannot tell me that that does not look like a potato. It is a potato. Guys. We all know that it's a potato. It's a potato, you guys. I don't know why I'm going on about it being a potato. Why am I going on about it being a potato? Well, what? Yay, Rannon has to tell me something. What? Oh, I got 100 XP. Fun. Okay. I'm kind of fuzzled. I did not expect this. Um, ooh, what does she need to tell me? Okay, she says, when I left Vado to be a wild warden in the north, I left for a reason, because of something I saw. Okay, we can say, what did you see, or why did you, would you leave? What, what did you see? For the longest time, I thought there was only one side to magic, the side that wants to help people. To bring them together the magic wishes wellness on the world and then I saw one night while riding the forest paths I came across a, a hooded figure I think that's a dark rider if you'd if you'd have kept quiet we'd still be hearing it Linda says this was intended to be a conversation between Daniela and I the more the merrier. I'll grab some cheese doodles. We can round, um, we can gather around and listen to Rhiannon's story. Seriously, Alex? Alex, it's a private conversation. I don't think Alex has n ever heard of a private conversation, so yeah. The more the, okay. We're sorry for intruding. No snacks, Alex. Yeah, good job, Linda. Something tells me this isn't that kind of story. Very well. If you stay quiet, I will continue. There I was. The hooded figure stood in the middle of my of the path. Maybe it was darkness, but it was as if it appeared. They appeared from nowhere. I didn't have time to react. Before I knew it, it was my horse at the time, and cheeky Icelandic called. Fur Frecker was halting to a stop. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, tell me in the comments. He didn't even rear in fright. He just stood there, frozen. The figure raised a hand as if they were going to pet him. And then I felt it. The feeling like the life was being sucked out of me. I listened. All the sounds of the forest were gone. I could feel feel my horse growing weaker underneath me. I realized my wild whispering whisper instincts were making me feel like this. My connection to nature, to horses. Whatever the hooded figure was doing was draining their life out of everything. I had to get out. So I did. I turned Furker around with all the strength I had and urged him to get us out of there. We galloped the whole way home. Could it have been a dark rider? Per said Alex. Okay, Linda says, perhaps, or someone with the, the wild whispering gift who twisted it for dark purposes. There are many dangerous forces out there who operate outside of Aideen's light. It doesn't matter who they are, who they were. What matters is that what I felt, my bond with horses on, your, on Yorvik, the source of my strength, the most valuable thing to me in the world, it just disappeared. I had to, I had to, I, um, I had to come and take Aideen's light for granted 
and suddenly I was in the dark. In the time I managed to restore my bond with horses, when I found my beloved Nick some time later, but that moment my perspective on the virtues of magic was shattered. With the knowledge that I used to harm horses and break the scattered and break the scattered bond. It scared me. I couldn't go on, knowing that horses could be in danger. So I fled in fear and confusion up to the northern Yorick, where I lived among nature, as a wild whisper. The only way I knew how to protect horses from such danger, um, I can say, what made you come back, or, but you're here now, aren't you, to stay? Um... I don't know. This is hard. Hmm. I'll do what made you come back. Elizabeth needed my help. I refused at first. But she made me realize I had an important part to play in helping the druids. So I came back for a bit, just to help Elizabeth. But then I saw how close the soul riders had become. And how their bond had strengthened their magic. So I decided to stay. Um, so I decided, so I decided to stay here because strength really is in numbers. I wasn't sure what I was thinking when I left Vaildale. When I left Vaildale, I was driven by, by my fear. But you ran it! But I don't know how to, tell me if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, but, but you are Rhiannon, the fearless wild whisper, kicker of backsides. And the most serious person I know. How could you ever be so scared? Even the strongest of pe- people get scared sometimes, Alex. Um, what really opened my eyes was you, Daniela. Your dedication, skill, and sheer talent has given me faith in Aiden's light that I haven't felt for a while. I may not be the most powerful druid, but I know what I can do. A strength in numbers will will ensure that no harm comes to the innocent. No matter how strong you are or how in touch you are with the magical with your magical side, the light of, the light of Aiden lives through lives through us when we form a bond with horses. You're right. And even if there are dark forces out there that try to break the bond, it's still worth trying. Now, now, now that's enough. Remison? I'm just going to pronounce it as Remison. I do not know how to say that word. For today, it's time to get back to your soul riding duties. Come on, you didn't even get to the good part. Please, Alex, I do not want to read anymore. Enough has been said for the day. There's still one more thing to tell. Daniela soon will go out and... T- I'm going to... Oh, no. I need to prepare the thing first. I will let you know when it's time. Okay. Should I be scared, you guys? Sorry, I'm just in my, adjusting my mic. Should I be scared by this? How much? Oh my gosh, that's ran in Taurus, not the Ruin Runner. I need to see. Oh, oh. Okay, now I'm gonna see how far do I have left. I am not even a quarter of the way done to getting the Ruin Runner. I need a. I need a moment. I'll let you know when we can discuss this further. Okay. Hey, at least I got 100 XP. Mm-hmm. Fun. I'm going to see if I can do anything on foot because I've done that. Oh, okay. So, you guys, I actually want to show you something that I love doing. It's so fun. Um, You can... I recently discovered this. You can do um, the druid training on foot and... It's still the same like length of time. It's a little easier with um, avoid the shadows. It makes it 
easier because there's a smaller target instead of you're not riding this big horse so it's it's fun oh my gosh I hate avoid the shadows also if you guys hear me like sniffling I'm not sick I have terrible allergy allergies allergies are the worst you guys I am telling you the worst how do I have five thousand um how do I have two thousand five hundred and um how do I have twenty five thousand one hundred so I, don't, I thought I oh because I probably got um soul writing points from the conversation with Rhiannon. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Do you like my hoodie? I got it in the last video, but like I mentioned earlier, that video will most likely never meet the li see the light of day. Yay, we did it. That's really fun and easy. Yay, fun, you guys. Okay, I don't want to do any more <laughs> any more druid training. I'm gonna finish this up um off camera. So where is my horse? Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. Okay, so let's do some more training. Okay, so I am gonna do um the fair's workshop so that will be fun i also need to collect flowers that person already has the owl oh my gosh oh my gosh my horse is gonna die actually no that was not a dangerous fall apparently i do not know how i did not get how i didn't get a dangerous fall warning i um Oh, I'm gonna get some food. I know I'm saving up my shillings, but like, your girl needs to get some food for her horse. Cause like, I need food for my, oh my gosh. A bale, a bale of hay is 500 shillings? What? You know what? Oh. Yeah, now I know why. Because you get 10 bales. Whoops, I'm stupid. Okay, I need to care for my horses. Um, I think when I first got this horse, I didn't mean to get it, to get it, but now it's really growing on me. Like, I actually like this, the, I actually like um the AQH. Okay, I'm gonna take care of. Um, okay, I've finally come up with a nickname for Tuxedo Time. I think I'm gonna name um her nickname is gonna be um, whoops, her nickname. I think I want her. Yeah, I want her nickname to be either Angel or Summer. Because I like those two names and they look fitting for her. I know I already have a horse named Summer, um, Summer Spirit. But I don't know. I like Summer for my, for Tuxie, for my, um, um, the, oh my gosh, work to her. For my Andy, my Anna Lucian. I'm trying to make this horse happy because I recently figured out that you can make them happy by just caring for them by doing your daily caring so I learned that which is fun um yeah I think we're ready to start the training
um, sorry you guys if you can hear this, but I, um, I was, I'm adjusting my mic right now, so, there might be some weird noises. Um, okay, so we got this, um, um, so you guys, comment down below what, what, like, horses you want to see me buy. Because I know I will be filming a video of buying, um, the Marwari horses. But I am still saving my Star Coins up for them because I still don't have that many. Because I do want to get the, um, the black one. Because I love that black one. It is so pretty. And I don't have a black horse. So, yeah. I want to get the black Lusitano. Um, because I didn't have Star... I, I mean, I wanted to get the Flea Bitten Lusitano. But I didn't have Star Coins when the open house was here. So, now I want to get um, the... I'm not getting the Palomino. I'm not getting that one. I want to get the Bay Lusitano with the Black Lusitano or the, um, the, the, it's a, I think it's a Dun, not a Buckskin. Yeah, I want to get the Dun Lusitano because those are really pretty. So I want to get one of those or the White Lusitano. I like all the Lusitanos. Just, I'm not a big fan of the, the Palomino one. The Palomino just, no, it ain't it. It's not. I don't like it. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Some people may like it. But I just. I don't like it. It's just not like. I I like. I just don't like that horse. I don't like how like dark it is. Like this horse. This horse is like the same color as that. Lusitano. I just think it looks better on the. I just don't think that the colors of this palomino looks good on the lusitano that's just my opinion i just don't like it now i know some people i know a lot of people love it um because like i see people riding around um in star stable on it so much it's it's fun i like i mean it's kind of growing on me so i might actually want to get that i kind of do want to like want to get it i'll always fail on that jump but yeah i kind of kind of like it um i know this isn't gonna be the biggest training video but i'm at least gonna do I did my druid training that took most of the time so um I am um, oh I got gold nice nice I am just going to end this video here right by mr. Anderson so bye you guys or Actually, no, I'm not going to say bye. I'm so sorry for that, but I'm not going to say bye because I think we have some time because I still have a couple minutes or I don't know how long I have. I'll do one more race, okay, you guys? Okay, for content, for content, yeah. Yay, we got some Rubia. I need some Jew. Cause I really want to make um I want to make that those leggings because I really like them okay so you guys after this race whoa mrs. Morris day I didn't know mrs. Morris really liked rock and roll like this much Man, Mrs. Morris. I'm just gonna fit. I was gonna jump off that cliff to fail, but.
Okay, let's go. Whee! Come on, bird. Okay, very, I want to do a little better on this. Dang it, you guys, I always fill this race. Ready, you guys, let's go. I'm concentrating, you guys, so I might not talk. I like Mrs. Morris's choice of music, though, it's nice. It's very Mrs. Morris. Also, I really like Mrs. Morris's horse. It's like black and red. Okay, we made it through that. Now it's just just straight. Yay, fun. Thank you. Okay, so I am just going to end this video <clears throat> here. So, bye, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And comment down below if you want me to, like, what horses you want to see me buying. I will be buying the Marwaris. Just. I, I'm not going to be buying them all because I'm not a big fan of all of them. Um, I am going to wait till the second batch comes out. And if you want to see me buy um, some of the bridles, I will be doing that. I will also be buying that blue, that dark blue bridle to go with one of my outfits. So, I love that. Okay, so... Bye, you guys. I'm just going to end this video right here next to Mrs. Morris in the Fir Grove Mountain Passage. So, bye.